The lights are about to go down inside the Golden Nugget in Lake Charles, Louisiana, where Legacy Fighting Alliance went into the history books. G'day everybody, Michael Chavello alongside UFC Hall of Famer Pat Militich. Pat, we kicked off tonight with a fantastic performance from Trent Moe against the Brazilian Carl Machado. You talk about a flawless performance on the feet. That's what Trent Moe gave us. Absolutely. I mean, people need to watch the movement of Moe. Did a beautiful job cutting angles the entire time. After he was done landing his strikes, he would move, get out of dodge. Everything he did was pretty perfect in terms of his striking. Understands that his feet move his head and constantly scoring points. Machado definitely frustrated in this fight. Ate a lot of leather. There were a couple of chances for Machado to sink a submission, but Mo owned the night. Trip Mo, sixth career win. Alex Black took on Ton Lee. Ton Lee, his first appearance on LFA, and he blistered Black, and it started with a roundhouse kick like that. Oh, Ton Lee is a stick of dynamite waiting to go off. Beautiful kick to the body, follows it up with a shot to the head. Tan Lee just, wow, talk about a whirlwind of a fighter. This guy's going to be fun to watch over the years. Six and one, Tan Lee. Black falls to 11 and five. Our co-main event didn't last long. 21-year-old Brendan Allen took on 37-year-old John Kirk and won first round at GMP. Yeah, that first knee you saw to the head opened Kirk up. And Allen never relented, stayed on him, kept the pressure on him, pounded him. We felt it should have been stopped earlier. Just punishing Kirk the entire time here on the ground. Uh, bloodbath. An absolute bloodbath. Brendan Allen now goes six and one. John Kirk falls to 19 and 14. Allen calling up the champion. Middleweight fight on our main event. Trevin Giles looking to maintain his undefeated record. Took on the beanpole. Ryan Span toe to toe for three rounds in a very close contest. Yeah, it was very close. Could have gone either way. Span, though, like I said, during this bout, very happy for him. He showed so much improvement. His endurance looked great. His grappling looked great. Good striking. And uh, just, just all around much, much better performance out of him. Giles gets the nod, but hey, it's a great performance out of Span. Giles still undefeated 9-0. The first opponent, though he has not finished, is Ryan Span. Join us next week. We're in Shreveport, Louisiana. It's Elevate 4. Double main event, including Kevin Aguiar, Damon Jackson, Heather Bassett, and Andrea Lee.